Hey everybody, this is Brett. And remember a little while back I bought these lights? They're photography lights and they're really great. They have a big bulb so they create a lot of light, which is really excellent for working or photography. The only problem is that like so many products, they have a chemical stink. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean them with some soapy water first. And we'll see if that does anything. Like possibly the chemicals can be on the outside and maybe it'll go away. I doubt it. If it doesn't work, then what we'll do is I'll paint this liquid latex on there. It will make the light so that it doesn't function as well because it functions well because it has a shiny side. And that creates a lot of reflection which is great. But like I said, it stinks. So what I'm going to do is wash it. If that doesn't work then we'll paint it. If that doesn't work <laughs> we'll bite the bullet and probably just breathe it because I really like these lights. They are essential for doing what I have to do, but it's an imperfect world. So I've unplugged the light. And let's see what we can do about some cleaning here. I really doubt that this is gonna help. Just standing here, it stinks. To get any pressure, you gotta hold it on both sides. Now, hopefully, it just stinks on the inside from this glitter stuff. See, I don't really, I don't really smell it on the sponge, so I really, honestly, doubt that this is helping. If any of you have any ideas, you could write them in the comments down below. But I believe that the rubber coating this with white rubber, that's what that color is of that latex, white, so maybe it'll create, maybe it'll have a little bit of reflective quality just from being white. Okay, so I cleaned it and that did not get rid of the smell. So, I'm going to paint this latex on there and I realized that what I need is some clear. If I paint clear latex on there, then it will still shine through the clear latex. Now, the latex is not clear when you paint it, it's white and as it dries, it turns clear. It's like one of those magical things from nature, you know? It's like Wow, so let's do that. Let's paint this thing and, uh, and seal it from outgassing. Let's give a back view a little bit more. So yeah, see you can paint this on and you can see where it's been painted may take a couple of coats to get it thick enough. I'm not going to screw around with this. I really just don't have time to be doing that today. I'm going to get some things done. So I'm just going to whoop this on there. Especially considering I may have to put another coat on.
But you would think that rubber would seal it. Rubberizing it. Hopefully it sticks good. It is clean, but it's not the, the most rough surface to get a good stick. Rub it in kind of good to get into all the nooks and crannies. Good. I think I would like to put a second coat on it. Let's do the side now. You know, I might want to flip it so that it's got the side on the bottom. Okay. Now it's easier, huh? Put it on the table. So much better and easier. We could even dump the stuff right on there and then just spread it like mad.
Now hopefully the back, hopefully the back is not outgassing, but if it is, I'll paint it black. So this thing is going to look essentially the same, except the whole thing's going to be sealed in rubber. I'm telling you, I will get the sheet done. Okay, I got this second one completely coated. And that is starting to dry over there. That's the first side that I did. It's really wet outside. It's raining. So this is not really the optimal day for me to do this. Check out my birdhouse. I just got this window cleaned. And I've got... I've got a cardinal that is loving that feed. There, I've seen a, another little small one, maybe a chickadee in there, um, pecking away. But, but yeah, I'll let you check him out. I'm wanting to get him used to me for a little while before I start getting close to the window. So I've been talking to him, you know, jabbering about this and that. And, um... Yeah, he, he sits in there for about a minute and eats some food and then he flies away. Today he's really wet. He's a really wet cardinal, as you can imagine. But, um, yeah. Okay, it's for the most part dry and it needs several days to cure. Latex takes time to cure, probably even three or four days. So I'm just going to put these back together. The bulbs, those kinds of bulbs, and yes, those bulbs do have a little bit of mercury in them, but those are the best bulbs for this because they're cool. They are a little bit warm though, and when I put these covers back on them, that'll create some heat in there and help them to cure. And then I think I'll probably take them apart again and put another coat in there to make it a little thicker. But it seems to work. It seems to have worked really good. And as you can see, it's still silver because that latex is clear after it dries. And um, it smells just like latex, not like chemicals. So we'll see. It may still, like I said, need another coat. So I've been sitting peacefully and digesting after a meal like this and even meditating and I noticed that I really needed my arms to be sitting on something otherwise I slumped. So what I mean is like I'm sitting like this and there's nothing for my elbows to sit on and I looked down and I saw my knee ankle bolster. So I took it and I set it right there on my lap, like that. And I stepped my arms on it like that. And it's amazing, I keep figuring out new things to do with my products. They're so versatile. I mean, look at how comfortable that is. Your arms, they weigh quite a bit. I think, depending on who you are, I mean, at least five, 10 pounds or more. And they're constantly pulling down on your shoulders. And so if you've got something to sit them on, look at that, that's like a perfect mold. Any of you that have purchased my Millet Hall pillows know how good that feels to have a perfect mold to sit on. Just like those beanbag chairs, <clears throat> if you're old like me and you, you had one of those when you were a kid. So there you go, another cool idea for my products for you. So when you're sitting and digesting and calming the mind, you can focus also on your digestion. 
and try and focus on thinking about the, the digestive enzymes and acids breaking down the food in conjunction with feeling that actually happening in your digestive system. So you're focusing on the breath going in through your nose, possibly out through your mouth or nose. I like to just go in and out of my nose. And uh, sometimes you can actually hear your digestion. You can hear it gurgling in there. Right now you can probably only hear the heater crackling. Try and sit up nice and straight. And totally relax the whole body. And go into a state of parasympathetic nervous system relaxation. so that the digestive system can function optimally. You're totally relaxing your legs. Your arms now have support if you've got one of my knee ankle bolsters. <laughs> and you are so relaxed. that you just ate is going to digest so much better and you're going to absorb the nutrients better because you took time after you ate to just sit and relax. Completely in another world. Mm -hmm. 